Ahoy there, and welcome back to another One Piece manga chapter review. It's been a nice long two-week break. Things were starting off pretty excitingly with lots of hyperactive chaoticness, which is good. It kind of reminds me a lot of pre-time skip One Piece, and I'm hoping that we get more of that, because it's been sorely missed with how heavy a lot of the recent chapters or recent sagas and arcs have been. So we here have here chapter 1128. Starting off, we have a nice Shonen Jump cover. It's Luffy. It's very... Yeah, it's very One Piece centric with the nice huge portrait of Luffy looking good. Modern, kind of a fur stole and a gold chain on. It's very cool. Note to Moda, congrats on the six and a half year run, Akutami Tun. Take this time to recover and let's grab a bite to eat, Ichiro Oda. And that is probably for, I think, Jujutsu Kaisen ended this week, perhaps. I believe that's the one that ended this week. So he's probably wishing that mangaka. Good luck. Very Oda-ish to do. And we have a color spread. Ooh, very nice color spread. It's all of the Straw Hats. Well, is it all of them? Yes. Let's see. Yes, it is all of them. There's a giant purple dragon flying behind them and they are all riding or carrying booms rooms excuse me and wearing black coats very reminiscent of harry potter so it makes me wonder if oda is actually a fan of harry potter because this is very harry potter ish with all the straw hats wearing these black coats that look like the Hogwarts robes, and they're riding brooms. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if I've ever heard something of Oda having read Harry Potter. I feel like I have, so it's not that big of a stretch, but this is a really nice color spread. It's funny, Jinbei is just laying back, relaxing, riding on the head of the dragon. Everyone else is Riding or hanging on to a broom. Okay. Into the chapter. A new look. Chapter 1128. RPG. As in the game genre. That would make a whole lot of sense. They Straw Hats all are. The outfits currently do look like. They're from a role playing game. So that would be very interesting. And it would be fitting the setting of this toy looking island so far. So we got Sanji carrying Nami in his arms. Too many dudes around for this to be a dream. Then Nami says, what kind of dreams are you having? In that case, Nami-san, let's fly. And Sanji leaps out of the castle, carrying Nami in his arms. Careful, this place is falling apart. I woke up, I woke up on the other end of the town. There's Zoro. I heard a noise and I followed it till I found this goof beating up a big rabbit. Luffy, you could have taken that cat line thing, right Usopp? It already had me in its mouth when it kept, when I came to. I totally lost my cool. Here's where I'm at. Our threads resemble that. Our threads resemble what the warriors of Elbaf are always wearing. But there's no way they have clothes that fit us. We're talking about an island of giants, after all. And Nami exploring, touching some of the Lego brick. Let's say this is Elbaf. 
we have been gigantified. Then again, this tree is definitely fake. Zoro, I think there's people in town. We'll clear this up without chatting to them. Besides, this area is too vast, and we have no idea which way the sea is. Luffy, you're right, let's head to town. Sanji, others don't seem to be here. And Usopp, how'd you know? Sanji, my raider isn't picking up Robinson. Sniff, sniff. Nami, are you a hound? Let's just ask about them in town. It's time for adventure! Woohoo! Why are you so amped up? You realize we know literally nothing about this place, right? It's such a wide open space, but I can't feel any wind. It's airy. Don't fear, Nami-san. I'm here for you. Hmm? Something's coming, huh? Wait a minute. Kia! That's gross. Whoa! Hello there. Oh man, a grasshopper. That's so cool. You must be newcomers. So we've got a guy riding a grasshopper. Hmm, he's tattooed. He's wearing those bell bath ish sort of looking clothes, but his outfit kind of looks a little bit more like a biker outfit. And he's riding on a giant grasshopper. No way, nuh uh, keep that bug away. Who are you, old timer? Where is this place? There you got Booth. You got Booth, Nami, and Sanji backing away very quickly from the giant grasshopper in fear. Glad that they do remember that Sanji is afraid of bugs. Who are you, old timer? Where is this place? Do you know where our crewmates are? That's a lot of questions. My apologies, I'm in too much of a rush to stay in chat. Just remember, this vast land belongs to the Sun God. God? Even the big Stein Castle, which I help maintain. It's the domain of deities like the great Iscat. Oh, someone lives there? No, a cat? Ah, uh, our bad. You're kind of whoop that cat. <laughs> to put it simply, this is a land of gods. Now then, I must be off. The needle god must be starving by now. So you got Nami making that Luffy face that he makes when he's lying or keeping a secret. You got Usopp covering Luffy's mouth. Zoro trying to look away and whistling casually. Sanji's doing the same thing. Now Nami's joining in. All that uproar, the ear god being burned, really delayed me. All the uproar to all that uproar over the ear god being burned really delayed me. If you're hungry, head to town for some fodder rations. Also, heed this warning. Do not follow this road. The rabid guardians protect the sun god's temple beyond this point. No one has ever ventured past there and returned to tell the tale. Huh? Why not? That wording! Take it back before... Fidget, fidget. <laughs> now Luffy's all interested. He wants to... And then the very next panel, he dashes off in a mad dash. Wait! And we've got Sanji, Usopp, and Nami reaching out, say, yelling, wait, but it's too late. Luffy's long gone. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gramps. Ah. Uh. Sorry about all this, huh? Rabbit guardians, huh? 
And yeah, Zora is getting interested, and Sanji yelling at Zora. You and Luffy basically enable each other at this point. Don't you ever think things through? Now the old guy is noticing that the castle is messed up. Huh? What happened to the castle? And now we're back to Luffy running away. This place reeks of adventure. Didn't you hear him? Rapid guardians, gods. Hold up, Luffy. This place is seriously huge. Can't see any buildings ahead. Just look. Just how long is this freaking road? Wait, look at that castle. Doesn't it look like the other one? Let's see. Hmm. Someone's running this way. They're in Elbath gear too. Whatever, I'll just dodge them. And Luffy runs smack dab into what looks like a mirror. And the mirror is shattering. What? The sky is breaking. What the hell is this? Wow. Look, the sky is coming from the Holy Temple. No, over there. What's going on? Everything's going to hell. So we've got those townspeople all reacting to the mirror shattering. What the? That means unbelievable. It's a giant room. You can't still be on that huge ship, though. This isn't like any of the cabins they had. What's up with the wire netting? I bet there's genuine giants this way. This whole place is some kind of pet cage? Is this whole place some kind of pet cage? This is the worst. You guys, are you there? Was that noise you helped me? What? So... What Luffy ran into was... A mirror that was hiding the fact that they were in a kind of a kind of cage in the workshop of a giant so that means everyone else It's just like they're from Elbaf, so yes, that makes sense because a giant is the one holding them captive in that cage. And the animals are giant because the giant is taking Elbaf animals and putting them in the cage with the people. Well, that's very interesting. Wow, I'm so glad to see you. It's Chopper. The chopper was on the outside of the cage. There, there, chopper. Everything's gonna be okay. We've got Nami hugging chopper. The collar was made of steel. I couldn't get it off. I was sure I was going to die. It's clearly a giant's room. So what's with all this human-sized clothing? We stop observing everything. We must have been dressed up like dolls. Still, you owe me. You owe me for this. You owe me for this hug. Huh? That's cold. You were scared earlier too. Still, some. This is some fine craftsmanship. This sun god must be very skilled. There's so many of these blocks. That whole country was made out of them. That explains the horrible scent. When we were grilling up the rabbits. It must have been all the plastic burning. Hey, check it out from here. The view is never ending. Wait, it's see-through now? It's like normal glass on this end. What kind of magic mirror is this? 
Mommy san, I volunteer to clean the ladies' room on the ship later. Don't you dare! <laughs> so this is some kind of sick hobby? The giant likes to watch the animals and people trapped in that block world? That's creepy, but this confirms we're on Elbaf, right? It's a real giant's room, so there must be a real giant island out there. For real? Heck yeah! How can you be so sure? All we can really say is that the giant's behind this. We should escape where the others. It'd be bad if the giant came back and caught us here. Why not head back inside and squeeze the townspeople for more information? It seem a little weird, but it's better to face them than risk a confrontation with the giant. Hey, are you listening, Luffy? Yeah, I thought I'd just blow this guy away first. Now a giant cobra is attacking. Nami Chopper and Usopp freaking out. And Luffy's bringing back a punch and leaping into the air. <laughs> Go for it. Squeak, squeak. Now they're giant mice or giant rats. Look down there, rats. And above us, a crow. Caw! Don't tell me these are those rabbit temple guardians. How's this a temple, though? I'm still full from the rabbits, so I'm just gonna send these guys flying. Wah! And now we have someone walking and fearing the commotion. This is, must be the giant that owns this place. Let's see. We've got boots with fur trim. They're wearing a moose skull on their head, carrying a staff, wearing a black tattered cloak. Hmm, very interesting. And this would be a nut, the second character we've seen with a skull because there was that, there's that God's Knight character that wears a skull, like maybe a horse skull, I think, or perhaps a cow skull. I think it was like more like a horse skull or maybe I'd have to go back because I can't remember off the top of my head. I just know he was wearing a skull and now this character is wearing a skull. Don't play around, guys. If you, don't play around, guys. If you don't finish them off before the sun god gets here. For, wait, Luffy, that's overkill. Hey, I'm not the one who busted the fireplace and let the flame spread. What? It can't be. My beloved temple. Yeah. And Luffy's in gear fifth, laughing. There's fire spreading around. And then the snake and the crow are trying to attack. <laughs> and the giant walks in and sees all this commotion. Luffy, this is bad. The sun got's back. Let's run for it. Caw. Ugin. Gum gum. Booming dawn pistol. Booming dawn pistol. Smack into the cobra. Yo. And that's knocked up the coup. Humangar. Humangar. Humangander. 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 So I guess that's the name of the snake he's yelling out.
And Luffy's bouncing around laughing. <laughs> Hurry, Luffy. The giant is huge. This is so messed up. And now the cat is back. And it's cornering them. Yeah. Man. And they quickly hit it and start riding it. Chopper is translating. It says you'll pay for this. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, look at this. Couldn't find any proper loot, but it's a blueprint for the block country. Hmm? So it's a map. Here they come. How dare you defile my beloved country. Now we've got that giant chasing them. Chasing the straw hats and they're riding on the cat and trying to escape. If we keep going straight, we'll bust through the mirror on the other side. We'll be free if we smash behind if we smash the wall behind it too. Great, let's get out of here. What? The sun god is incensed. Now we have the townspeople looking up and witnessing. The sun god walking through the country, chasing after the straw hats. I won't let you escape. So this is really interesting. I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of still... Getting towards the idea that this is Loki. I think pretty much everyone expected that Loki would, if the, the if that if the Straw Hats were actually on Elbaf, that Loki would be behind what's happening. So it makes sense. And Loki is the prince. So. It would make sense. But the design is very interesting. We have the staff, which I am noticing it's got a sun shape to it. The top of the staff. It's a loop and it's shaped like a sun. Wearing the moose skull. Also carrying a shield that looks like it has the sun on it as well. So perhaps Loki is a big fan of the myth about the sun god. That could be the case, but... Another very chaotic chapter, which is good. Glad we're keeping up with that. Still feeling very pre-time skip. And hopefully the way this kind of shakes out is the Straw Hats will keep reuniting with and encountering other members as they go through. Because in this chapter they found Chopper. Maybe they'll find another character in the next chapter and so forth. Until we get to all the straw hats being united. Still not getting, it's still so chaotic, it's hard to get a sense for the arc. Like, but this is Elbaf, and as I've maintained, Elbaf needs to be a very big arc. It needs to be substantial. So... I think we are still in that warming up phase. It's just a lot of chaos as the Straw Hats kind of find out what's going on and get their bearings. As I said earlier, it's very, very pre-time skip, which is good. And it makes a whole lot of sense because Elbaf is one of the islands first mentioned during one of the Late stage islands first mentioned during the pre time skip. 
So it makes a lot of sense that we should go back to that pre-time skip style for Elbath. Luffy is in pure Luffy form. All the characters are all the characters are in their element basically being themselves. I'm wondering how this Loki situation is going to play out because why is Loki keeping people in a giant cage, dressing them up like dolls, pretending to be the sun god and ruling over them basically. Hmm. Is it just for entertainment? Seems like it is at this point, which brings up the idea that Loki is a very childish person, if not a child. I'm thinking it's a childish person, a, a childish adult, because the silhouette of Loki's body looks like an adult. At least so far. Wearing that giant cow, or cow, moose skull, it's actually quite intimidating. A giant, an actual giant wearing a moose skull, looking quite terrifying, chasing you around and talking about keeping you locked up in this strange box world forever. But if they escape here, they will get a sense of Elbath itself. Which would actually be good. It's a good introduction here to the Prince of Elbath. Most likely what we're looking at here is Loki, Prince Loki. And then once they escape Loki, they will find out that they are on Elbath. And I'll perhaps find out more about the rest of the royals, if there are any other royals. Kind of have to assume that there must be. And what the state of Eldath is. And this is good because it gives us a short of... A sort of short stop, stopping point slash adjusting period before we move into Eldath proper. And see what the whole island is like. It's going to be a massive reveal, and it's probably coming up pretty soon if they manage to escape from Loki here, which it seems like they will. It's interesting that Luffy's in Gear 5, and it seems so far that the giant hasn't recognized that as the Sun God, which, if this giant is a huge fan of the Sun God legend, then he should know what the Sun God is supposed to look like and recognize that Luffy looks like that, but mm, there's a big question mark there because there's so many, there's still so many ways in which the story could go. So it's kind of hard to narrow down a specific path, but that's one of them for sure. So I think we got another really good chapter. I like it. It's full of comedy, some good action, lots of whimsical. But you can tell Otis having fun with this because there's lots of whimsical drawing and he's drawing lots of animals, which he loves to do. And lots of straw hat interactions. Everyone's acting like themselves. No one's out of character. And because this is one of those very chaotic and hectic things, you can kind of dial the characters, other personality traits up to their maximum. And it works within the setting. So it's very, all very good so far. Let's see. Because the thing is, like, Whole Cake Island had that 
whimsical setup to it as well, but Volcade Island, the Straw Hats went in with a deadly serious situation. So tonally the whimsy of Volcade Island was the opposite of the mood of the actual arc and the undertones of the arc. So far in this arc there's a lot of whimsy, but it's matching. It's very lighthearted sort of tone of the Straw Hats arriving on this island. There's no real threat so far. The Straw Hats are all united as a crew. No one's missing like it was like was the case with Oke Island. They're not there to save or rescue anyone so far. It's just the Straw Hats being on a new island kind of figuring things out as they go which they haven't really had one of those since mm, since i think going back to pre and tides get yeah, because since i want to say shabondi maybe even before shabondi but definitely since shabondi the straw hats have always had their next island in mind and gone to that next island they haven't randomly ended up on an island thrown, taken off course, abducted, something like that. They haven't had one of those situations since during the pre-time skip, which is probably why this feels like such a pre-time skip style arc. And it's very refreshing. I'm enjoying it so far. So with that, I think I'm going to end the review here. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next chapter of you. Until then, take care.